हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थ्योरम एंड लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी टू फाइंड लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ गिवन फंक्शंस सो लेट अस सी आवर फर्स्ट एग्जांपल हियर वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड लैपलास ऑफ ई रेज टू टू टी इंटू साइन फोर टी नाउ लेट एस प्रोसीड फॉर सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थियोरम फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थियोरम से इज दैट लैपलास ऑफ ई रेज टू ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी इज फाइव ऑफ एस माइनस ए वेर फाइव इज लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी एंड दिस एफ ऑफ टी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर दैट मीन्स टू फाइंड आउट लैपलास ऑफ ई रेज टू ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी यू हैव टू फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी कॉल इट एज फाइव ऑफ एस देन राइट लैपलास ऑफ ई रेज टू ए टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी एज फाइव ऑफ एस माइनस ए दिस फाइव ऑफ एस माइनस ए कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम फाइव ऑफ एस बाई रिप्लेसिंग एवरी एस बाय एस माइनस ए एंड दिस ए इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर इट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ टी इन द पावर ऑफ ई नाउ लेट एस अप्लाई दिस फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थियोरम ओवर हियर इफ यू कंपेयर ई रेज टू ए टी इन टू एफ ऑफ टी विद दिस यू विल गेट एफ ऑफ टी इज साइन फोर टी एंड ए इज टू सो लेट एस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड आउट लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी दैट इज लैपलास ऑफ साइन फोर टी फॉर दैट वी विल रिकॉल लैपलास ऑफ साइन ए टी इज फॉर्मूला विच सेज इट इज ए अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर सो लैपलास ऑफ साइन फोर टी इज नथिंग बट फोर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर बिकॉज हियर ए इज फोर वी कॉल इट एज फाइव ऑफ एस नाउ लेट एस फाइंड आउट लैपलास ऑफ ई रेज टू टू टी इंटू साइन फोर टी according to first shifting theorem its value is phi of s minus a in our case a is 2 so value of this laplace is phi of s minus 2 now let us write what is phi of s minus 2 this is our phi of s so phi of s minus 2 can be obtained from phi of s by replacing every s in it by s minus 2 so let us replace this s by s minus 2 we get answer as 4 upon s minus 2 the whole square plus 4 square i hope guys you understood this very easy example now let us proceed for second one here we are asked to find out laplace of e raised to 2t into sin 4t into cos 2t let us recall for shifting theorem once again it says that laplace of e raised to 8t into f of t is phi of s minus a where phi is laplace of f of t in this particular case f of t is sin 4t into cos 2t so let us first find out laplace of sin 4t into cos 2t to find it i will use trigonometric identity which says 2 sin a cos b is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b in this case a is 4t and b is 2t so a plus b is 60 and a minus b is 2t so sin 4t into cos 2t is nothing but sin 60 plus sin 2t divided by 2 this 2 is coming over here so we have divided by 2 over here now using linearity property you can write this as 1 by 2 outside laplace of sin 60 plus laplace of sin 2t now to write laplace of sin 60 and laplace of sin 2t i will recall laplace of sin 80 which is a upon a square plus a square in this term a is 6 and in this term a is 2 so laplace of sin 60 is 6 upon a square plus 6 square and laplace of sin 2t is 2 upon a square plus 2 square now i call this as phi of s like this laplace of f of t is phi of s and in this case f of t is Sin 4t cos 2t. So this is our phi of s. Now let us obtain Laplace of e raised to 2t into sin 4t cos 2t. According to first shifting theorem, its value is phi of s minus a, and a is coefficient of t in power of e. So here a is 2. So our answer is phi of s minus 2. Let us write what is phi of s minus 2. It can be written from phi of s by replacing every s in it by s minus 2. So here I see there are two s in phi of s. One is here and another one is here. So I replace this s and this s by s minus two. 
to get Laplace of e raised to 2t into sin 4t cos 2t as 1 by 2 6 upon s minus 2 the whole square plus 6 square plus 2 upon s minus 2 the whole square plus 2 square. I hope guys you understood this example as well. Now let me proceed for example number 3. Here we are asked to find Laplace of cos h 4t into cos 3t. Guys, you may ask me, sir, there is no exponential term here. So how can I apply first shifting theorem in this example? Guys, look closely. There is a function hyperbolic cosine 4t. And we know that hyperbolic cosine can be written in its exponential form as this. Cos h theta is e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta upon 2. So this cos h 4t can be written as e raised to 4t plus e raised to minus 4t upon 2. So we have Laplace of cos h 4t cos 3t as Laplace of e raised to 4t plus e raised to minus 4t upon 2 into cos 3t as it is. Now you can apply linearity property and take out this 1 by 2 and write this as Laplace of e raised to 4t into cos 3t plus Laplace of e raised to minus 4t into cos 3t. Now there are two terms where we have exponential function along with f of t whose Laplace we wanted to find out. So here we have to apply first shifting theorem two times one at this place and another one over here. So let us recall first shifting theorem. It says that Laplace of e raised to a t into f of t is phi of s minus a and Laplace of e raised to minus a t into f of t as phi of s plus a where phi is Laplace of f of t. So this first form of FST we have to apply over here, no over here because here we have positive coefficient for t like this and when we have negative coefficient for t we have to apply this form of FST over here. So let us first find out Laplace of f of t. In both these cases f of t is cos 3t and we know Laplace of cos a t is s upon s square plus a square. So Laplace of cos 3t is s upon s square plus 3 square. Let us call it as phi of s. Then Laplace of e raised to 4t into cos 3t will be phi of s minus 4 and Laplace of e raised to minus 4t cos 3t will be phi of s plus 4 like this. Now let us obtain phi of s minus 4 from phi of s. To do so, we will replace every s in phi of s by s minus 4. So we have s minus 4 here, s minus 4 here. So first term becomes this. Similarly, phi of s plus 4 will be s plus 4 upon s plus 4 the whole square plus 3 square. Like this. So this is Laplace of cos h 4t into cos 3t. If you have understood, let us go for next example. Here we are asked to find Laplace of e raised to 2t into 1 plus t the whole square. So it is clear that here f of t is 1 plus t the whole square. So let us find out first Laplace of 1 plus t the whole square. One can first expand this 1 plus t the whole square then find its Laplace. So let us first expand this 1 plus t the whole square. So Laplace of e raised to 2t into 1 plus t the whole square will be equal to Laplace of e raised to 2t into 1 plus 2t plus t square. It is just like a plus b the whole square expansion. Okay. So by linearity property, we can write this as Laplace of e raised to 2t into 1 plus Laplace of e raised to 2t into 2t. That 2 goes out because it is scalar plus Laplace of e raised to 2t into t square. Now one by one, we will write Laplace of these terms. Laplace of e raised to 2t can be obtained directly using the formula of Laplace of e raised to a t which is 1 upon s minus a. Here a is 2. So Laplace of e raised to 2t is 1 upon s minus 2. That we can write directly. But to obtain Laplace of e raised to 2t into t and e raised to 2t into t square, we need first shifting theorem. Let us recall that first shifting theorem. It says Laplace of e raised to a t into f of t is phi of s minus a. This is the fourth time we are recalling this FST. And this phi is coming from Laplace of f of t. In this particular case, f of t is t and 
in this case f of t is t square so this is like t raised to n terms and we know laplace of t raised to n is gamma n plus 1 upon s raised to n plus 1 so laplace of t is gamma 1 plus 1 that is gamma 2 upon s square plus laplace of t square we wanted to find out so here n is 2 then laplace of t square will be gamma 3 upon s cube then according to first shifting theorem laplace of e raised to 2t into t is nothing but phi of s minus 2 so laplace of e raised to 2t into t will be gamma 2 upon s minus 2 whole raised to 2 like this this 2 remains as it is similarly laplace of e raised to 2t into t square will be gamma 3 upon s minus 2 whole cube like this and we know that if n is positive integer then gamma n is n minus 1 factorial so gamma 2 is 1 factorial so we write it as 1 only gamma 3 is 2 factorial and 2 factorial is 2 so this numerator becomes 2 so we have this as laplace of e raised to 2t into 1 plus t the whole square i hope guys you understood all the four examples now it is your turn to solve some examples below are some practice examples please do it yourself their final answers are also mentioned below guys please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not if you like the video please click on the like button and share it among your friends thank you guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos